Hey guys, it's Trey. So today I'm going to be doing something pretty different than normal. I'm going to be dyeing my hair red. And I know you're probably wondering, oh, like, why would you dye your beautiful blonde platinum hair? Why would you dye that red? It's because my natural hair color is red. And, uh, I mean, this is my hair, but it's not my hair. Kind of like this. The hair we're going to dye today is not my hair. It smells pretty weird. Um, I haven't been wearing this for a while just because it's getting pretty bleh, and I can't wait to see how it turns out. So I'm just using this cheap Walmart dye that I bought. Um, it's Garnier Bell Color. It's literally like $4 at Walmart. So I'm going to use it today. So I'm going to add these together and we'll see how it goes. There's Bob. So this is my setup. So I have uh, a comb to comb out my hair, the, like a dye brush, all the stuff from the dye. I have my gloves on that are conveniently ripped out of this. Shit. So, roll up your sleeves, and we're gonna just really quickly comb out any grossness in the wig so it's not super tangly or bad or damaged or whatever. This is a short wig, I'm sure you'll you detangle a longer wig a bit differently, but this is how I detangle my short hair. Honestly, if you've never tried having a short wig, like it seems like a waste, but it's not. Um, you can get like human hair so cheap when it's a short. I think I paid like $60. I ordered this one off Amazon. I suggest you start, you buy them from the store because like, I mean, I don't hate this hair I'm wearing, but just the fact that there's not human hair and I paid like the same price as this, you know, it just feels like a rip off. So probably just gonna buy another one of these next time and then bleach it to this color. And that's actually what I like about human hair is you can change the color. Like they say, blah, blah, blah. But like, honestly, I've changed the color of like more than one wig. I've dyed, here I'll show you. Um, well, this is the only other one, really, but I've dyed this one before. I've dyed, I lightened this a little when I first got it. But I also dyed this one, like a blue. I wore it in my bathtub video, actually. I dyed that with, like, Blue Manic Panic after I had bleached it. Um, so, you know, it's like you can reuse these or turn them into whatever color you want whenever you pour them. Like, I just poured this one and I want it to be red because my natural hair color is red. So you're going to mix this like I any other box dye. Um, just open a thingy up. Smell them chemicals. Pop it, and then just squeeze all the gross shit in the tube. I mean, feel the gross shit out of the tube. My bad. So I'm hoping this does turn out like my real color. I don't think it will, <laughs> sadly, um, just because my real color is pretty awesome, and this is just like a shitty orange dye. Is that? My dog took All right, let's get the dyeing. Ugh. Real close up. Okay. So I always start from this very top part because it's what I count the root as. Um, because realistically there's no lace or anything on this. There's no lace on this unit, right? So, um, you know, in, in pictures, in pictures it's looking coming up pretty orange right now, so I'm sure this will look great, but it's a lot more blonde in real life. Uh, I don't know why this looks so red on me. It's like a strawberry blonde. Shaking up the shit. Realistically, I could just put this um, right directly in the hair, but I like to use these brushes just because they make application a bit cleaner. But I'm going to put this right here, and it's bright. Uh, so yeah, Get the brush. I'm going to go green this way. I'm just doing this way. I always start right at the part, and then I just cut it off. Whatever. Okay. Okay, yeah, so once it's all covered, just take it and I just rewrap it and make sure it Believe it or not. I try to make sure I don't miss any spots. And then I throw it in the bag for... Throw it like that. I throw it in the bag, wrap it up like this. Then I throw it in the bathroom with the fan on so it's hanging out and I put time on my phone for 45 minutes or whatever. Okay, so it's been 30 minutes and the hair is like... Yeah. The color looks pretty great. <laughs> if I'm pretty bad, I usually just like throw the hair right under the tap. But I'll usually rinse with cold water just because I don't trust 
pot of water to help to make the strands come loose. This looks awesome. I'm like really excited for this. Now we have the red hair, which looks pretty awesome to me. It kind of looks like my real hair color. It's crazy ass, super strong conditioner. It's really good for damaged hair, which is exactly what this hair is. <laughs> At this point, probably everybody just like shitting their pants at me having this wig like this, but whatever. Or conditioning at the time. Okay, there she is. So she's all rinsed out. The hair color is looking pretty awesome, if you ask me. So I'll let you guys know how it turns out when it dries. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I think it's pretty cute. I'm so pale and I just, uh, I feel like me. <laughs> I don't know. I think the red hair is going to stay for a bit. Um, hope you guys do too. Um, if you liked this video, um, be sure to let me know. Um, comment, like, whatever, I don't care. Um, I just want to know what you guys think of these videos and like if you want me to make more wig videos, I can definitely do that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs>